Thunder boxers. And there is the tale of the Mania taking on Manny Flores out of Coachella, California. I'm Christina Ponter, joined tonight by my partner, Manny Robles. By the way, Flores is a softball. With the three inches taller than Jonathan Rodriguez. And he is starting fast, is Flores in the gray trunks. Rodriguez in the trunks of his beloved Puerto Rico with the red, white, and blue. I believe Flores is the more aggressive fighter of the two. Rodriguez is more of a counter puncher. So we can expect Flores to come forward and try to engage. Flores is 8-0 with five knockouts, but taking a step up tonight as of seven of those eight opponents that he's faced had losing records. He's only fought one opponent, and that was just in his third professional fight with a winning record. So uh, definitely a step up for him fighting Jonathan Rodriguez, who is 8-0, and and he himself uh, is taking a step up as well. So these guys have been building and building towards what is now a six-round contest, the first scheduled six-rounder for Flores. And also the battle for position between the orthodox boxer and, and, and the softball boxer. Those front feet when you get uh, orthodox and a softball, they're battling for that outside foot position. And oftentimes you get guys, you know, stepping on each other's feet, their feet getting tangled up as they have the, both of their lead foot right up against each other. Flores is patient stop, stop. Let him being out, let a him good counter puncher. And that some good punches on the inside. Seems to be more relaxed than Rodriguez is as, at this moment. Watch your this is the Watch first your fight outside let him go, of Pennsylvania let him go. for Jonathan Rodriguez. Not how a lot of guys, I'm sure, env envisioned their Las Vegas debut <laughs> taking place in, 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 a, in a bubble during a pandemic, but nonetheless, a big opportunity, a big stage for him. Correct, and also both fighting in the bubble let for him the go. first let time. Let him go, let him go. It's different. Come on, working out. You know. <laughs> You've been there, and a lot of these guys say, on, you know, it, it feels Stop. almost like a sparring session in no there holding, with no, no crowd. Definitely. It, it, it really does. I mean, that's from my personal experience. It does feel a lot like, like a sparring session. You can pretty much hear everything. Extract, and both in, instructions given by both corners. And it has had an effect on some of the fighters. I think more so on the guys that are world champions. I mean, you even heard Jose Ramirez say it was weird. I, I'm used to fighting in front of thousands of people, especially a guy like him who fights in his backyard all the time. And here I am defending my title, and there's there's nobody. There's nobody to draw that energy from. You have to find that from within. And I think it's been harder on these on these world champions than it has been on these guys who are used to fighting with minimal crowds early on cards anyway. Yeah, no, you're real, and they eventually fought. And, and, and now... Mariaga, we find the same situation with Mariaga. Now this is his, his third time trying to fight, trying to get in. Um, and all of that training camp and, and put everything he has because he's going to need it tonight in our co-main event against Joet Gonzalez. But here in this one, round two scheduled for six. Manny Flores out of Coachella, California, taking on Jonathan Rodriguez out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Close round that first round, but uh, Flores did was able to maintain and dictate the tempo, I believe. Rodriguez still seems to be a little bit nervous. Yeah, he's a little bit jumpy. He's got a little bit of that nervous energy in there. Meanwhile, Flores is nice and relaxed, nice and calm. Lance a nice left to the body, left and left, left to the body hook on top. And Rodriguez, he's doing a good job getting inside, but again, making a mistake backing up in a straight line as opposed to stepping and turning towards his left and staying away from from uh, uh, Flores' uh, uh, power go, hand, which is that lead left hand. Nice hook there by Rodriguez. Yeah, and a good right hand to the body there from Rodriguez as well. Again, with the right hand, backs up Flores a little bit. There we go. Stay inside, Rodriguez. Stay. You, once you go. find Hands yourself right. inside, Hands stay in the pocket. Go. Keep banging away. It's only a six-round fight, so he's got to find a way to stay busy. He's a good, better job there landing that right hand and then getting his head off the line, getting away from that right hand of Flores.
Good little scrap by both of these fighters. They can both box, but they can both bang. And they got some pop. They both got some pop in their, in their arsenal. Keep them up, keep them up. Nice right hand lead there by Rodriguez to the body of Flores. Flores being patient and trying to counter Rodriguez. I like Rodriguez's activity level here in round two. I feel like he's dictating the pace a little bit better. Flores is patient, as you mentioned, but Rodriguez letting his hands go, and that's how you're going to score just like that. You've got to throw these punches and combinations, and he lands a nice left hand there. Right hand to the chest, left hand to the head. Rodriguez being the shorter fighter of the two, he doesn't necessarily have to aim for the head. He can aim, he can set up that jab and aim for, for, to the, towards the chest and the body. And then once you find yourself inside, then go to the head. Watch it, watch it. Come on, work and get out. Let him go, let him go. 10 seconds left. Again, the right hand lead by Rodriguez. And he's settling in a little bit. I feel like he's finding his rhythm here now in the second round. Taking on Jorge Ramos in our next fight and then our co-main event. I just think he's a little anxious. <laughs> a little anxious. Hey, and maybe you need a little bit of extra time to warm up when there is no crowd. You better come out warm and ready because uh, Joette Gonzalez is going to bring it from the opening bell. He, too, has something to prove tonight. Trying to get back in the win column after suffering the first defeat of his career at the hands of Shaquille Stevenson. Hands free, hands free, Round three scheduled for six. Christina Poncher and Manny Robles here with you. I think Flores, probably in your book, took round one. Rodriguez round two. Yes. So. I have it one round down, apiece down. so far. Over there. Oh, and a nice. nice left hand lands. And Four. the gloves touch the Five. canvas for Rodriguez. Six. That is indeed a knockdown. Seven. Come to me, John. Come to me. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Maybe a little bit of a slip in there as well. Uh, we'll probably take a look at the replay, but a left hand did land. There's, like, no, I, I, there's, no, there's no question. I believe this was a, a knockdown. I don't, Let go, even if they go stop, back stop. to the replay. There we go. There we go. Uh, I don't think they'll, over, they'll, they'll change anything. That was a nice uh, left, left uppercut, right hook uh, by Flores. Way to set that up and controlling the pocket on the inside as well. Let him go, hands free. Rodriguez got some out. catching up out. to do now. Good body work by, by Rodriguez Let there. Let him go, hands free. Let him go. And that's his fight. Stop. Inside. There we go. There we go. Flores has shown the same demeanor throughout the first three rounds. He hasn't changed. Head, He's got a poker go. face. Mm -hmm. Staying calm and relaxed. Landing, there's some good combinations there. Even when he gets hit, he doesn't, you know, he, he, he keeps that same face. It almost seems like Rodriguez isn't Watch hurting him at all. Watch the hands. Let him go, let him go. Come on, let him go. Let him go, Jonathan. Touch and let go by both guys. Good, good body work here from Flores and a nice counter on the way out from Rodriguez. Except, you know, like Rodriguez now, they're both going to the body, but Rodriguez finished to the head as he should. Flores seeing off here as Rodriguez kind of throws caution to the wind in those exchanges and forgets about his defense. Flores coming on strong here in the last 30 seconds of round three and then gets clipped by a nice right hand from Rodriguez. Been a nice good. back and forth action here. It's been a good little scrap. Definitely been a good fight. Entertaining Stop. fight for the fans sitting at home. Yep. To show up for both of these guys and it's been back and forth as we take a look at the knockdown. And here we and go with a nice, le nice setup. And number two, number three, wherever you have him, he's top three pound for pound in Terrence Crawford. Nothing to be ashamed of uh, for that performance. We'll talk more about that, but. Um. 
He says, mentally, I'm in a good place. I, I know what I was able to do in that fight. Stop, Granted, stop. I would love to have another opportunity. I know I have to take care of business against Mikhail Zuski and get back in the play. Ball no tonight. push. He'll Come be looking on. to do so in our main event. And Michael Zuski's no pushover, by the way. He's a That's great fighter ball. himself. I agree, and I'm looking forward to seeing him back in action here. As we've had some good action here in this fight. Rodriguez down in round three from Flores. Flores had a good opening round. Rodriguez had a good round two. And then Rodriguez suffers a knockdown in round three. I like the way Flores sets up his punches, sets up his power shots, sits on the inside, bends his knees, sits on his punches, and, and generates power behind his punches. I like that from him. Walking towards uh, Rodriguez, cutting off the ring there. Rodriguez, nice step and turn. Flores being patient. Good jab. I believe Rodriguez got to, has to settle down a little bit. Jumps in, rushes in. Let him in, go, let him go, Jonathan, that, let him go. That's not a good thing because Flores on, is just sitting back waiting a counter. No holding, no holding, let's go. Nice left cross by Flores. Some nice body shots there from Flores. As I said, he's sitting on his punches and he's generating power behind those punches. I like that. That's something you pick up in the gyms in, in Southern California. You know, you, you know, Flores had a nice amateur background, but you know, one thing about amateur fighters in Southern California and fighters in general is like at a very young age, you know, they're, they're already being taught Hansford, to, Hansford, come to on, guys, fight go, go. like pros and guys. not like amateurs. And he and you can see that in Flores. And he did get some work at the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy. In fact, they did train on, him for his one and go. only Stop. fight in 2019. Um, he's had some issues with management, etc., not really being as active as he would like. And now he's back with Antonio Diaz and hoping to really stay busy now and be in a better place at his so, career. I mean, go. only eight professional fights, and he's been a professional for three years. That's very good. I mean, I, I, staying busy. you can't get eight fights in one year. You know, I, I think that he wants to stay more busy, and I think that he's off to a good start here, and, a, and he's having a pretty good performance tonight. But uh, Rodriguez having his moments, and this has definitely been a good little fight. His wife talked about taking him under their wing, and in fact, was actually able, able to legally adopt Jonathan. Jonathan changed his last name to Rodriguez and says he owes everything to his father, his adopted father, who is also his best friend, his coach, and his mentor. Amazing story with those Amazing. two. Amazing, and boxing is what brought them Saved together. Saved his life, yep. Saved his life, changed his brought life, them. and brought them together. together. It's amazing, it's a wonderful story. And his coach and his coach's wife, Carmen, have been supporting Jonathan from, from day one, and they're watching him and more than proud of their adopted son and what he's done with his career at this point. 8-0, no, three knockouts. Win or lose, he's already a winner, being a part of a, an amazing family and, and gym there back in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Yes, he is, and he's putting up a valiant effort. He's doing everything he can to make this a fight. But Flores, on the other hand, keeping his composure once again. Show me something. Show me something. Mm. Showing that. That's listen, it, it, it. this is a six round fight. Oh, he's hurt there. That was a big left hand. And just like that, Robert Boyle steps in and stops this fight. Just like that. Way to set that up behind that jab. Good combinations. You could hear Robert Hoyle say, show me something in talking to Jonathan Rodriguez after Flores landed a barrage of punches, but it never really looked like, aside from that one shot in that last exchange, that Rodriguez looked hurt a little bit. But to that point, it was a back and forth fight. Yeah, it sure was. Wow. But I, I believe the ref, the ref did a good job by stopping that fight because he was hurt. Why, why take the extra punishment? I believe the, you know, the, the referee made the right call. You don't have to have to hit the deck for the referee to step in and stop the fight when you're when you're when he believes he's seriously hurt. 
a slight warning there. I mean, I did pick that up on the mic, him telling him, show me something uh, before that last exchange, which stopped the fight and a visibly disappointed Rodriguez trying to plead his case to Robert Hoyle, saying, why? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm OK. And uh, he suffers the, now the first loss of his professional career, eight and one, three KOs, and Manny Flores collects knockout number six on his way to now being 9-0 as a professional in what was a good fight up until that point. But that was the first time either fighter looked hurt despite the knockdown from uh, Rodriguez in round three. Manning's a desperation or being nervous even at the beginning of the fight, knowing that, that this was his first fight in the double, in the bubble, I'm sorry. <laughs> nice uppercut left hook there, by, right hook there by Flores. First knockdown in the fight. There we see again the left uppercut and the right hook time and time again. Setting him up behind the jab. Being the aggressor. Great stoppage there by the ref. And that was the one that you could tell visibly affected. He was still uneasy on his... And gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, referee Robert Hoyle calls a stop to this bout at one minute, 11 seconds of round number five, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Manuel El Manny Flores!